Hi there. Thanks so much for installing the Keepster app. I'm Jennifer, founder and CEO of Keepster, and I'm here to show you how to make your first backup, which you will need to do in order to use the other functions that the Keepster app allows, which includes saving, searching, and organizing your messages. By the way, while I'm talking, you'll see that I'm logging into my Keepster account. And for the purposes of this video, we're not sharing the onboarding screen. So here is the first screen that you would see after the login. Also, one of the first things that you do need is enough space on your computer. If you do not have enough space, a dialog box will pop up to let you know. Now that you've created a Keepster account, you can create your first backup of all the messages on your phone on your computer. So to begin, please connect your phone to your computer using a certified lightning cable. And if necessary, accept any trust notifications that might pop up. You can now select the option to make a backup. For the, your very first backup, you will be required to provide Keepster with full disk access. This is a one-time only action, meaning you'll never have to do this again. FYI, this is a security precaution to ensure that you are authorizing Keepster to access your info. It might sound a little complicated, but really it's super easy. Just a couple clicks and you'll be done. So on the screen where you are prompted to open up your system preferences, simply click on the top blue button. Once in system preferences, please click the lock icon on the bottom left and enter your computer's password to unlock. You can then click on the plus sign and you will find Keepster in your list of applications. Go back to the Keepster app or look at the dialog box that appears and click on later when you see the prompt to quit Keepster. So what we've done is make, made it super easy for you. So just click the blue finish button in the app and Keepster will be relaunched. Now, having done that, we are going to get to doing the iTunes backup. Now, for people who've never done a manual backup before, we're going to show you how to do it. So you follow the prompt to open iTunes. You click on the small iPhone that's in the top left hand corner of the iTunes screen and select the option to back up now. For those of you who have an encrypted device, uh, you will be prompted for your encryption password in order to proceed. Once the iTunes backup is completed, you can remove the lightning cable and open Keepster. you are now ready to create your Keepster backup. This will bring all your messages from all the messaging apps that you use together in one place in the Keepster app. Creating the Keepster backup couldn't be easier. Simply click on the tab showing your iTunes backup, which shows you the date and time when it was created and automatically, when you click on that, your Keepster backup will start. The process will take only a few minutes, depending on how much data you have on your phone. The more data you have, the longer it will take. But all in all, it shouldn't take very long. When you hear the ping, it means your Keepster backup is done. Now, you'll be ready to proceed with viewing all your messages, Searching for, searching for your favorites, creating keeps to folders and books. To learn more about how to view your messages and how to create keeps to folders and books, 
please take a look at the other instructional videos we've created. Lastly, when you're done using Keepster, we suggest you click on the hamburger menu inside the app to sign out of Keepster. We want to be sure that no one sees your messages but you. Please remember though, you will need your password to log back in again. We totally get how much your privacy matters. Thanks and just wait for the ping.